I challenged myself into a 100 day Minecraft survival. At first I was like, hmm, maybe you could just do to start a house, nothing too fancy. But then it escalated into a farmland. But in my farm I built this barn, which I kinda like the design. It's not too big or too small. Which is why I want to share with you today. Hi, I'm Max. And today I'm gonna show you how to build a small barn. Excuse me, you're a bit close. Now before we start with the build, you might want to clear the area and flatten it out first. Now we place an oak log for each corner of the yellow block. At the front, leave space for two blocks, then place another one. Like this. The same for the back. Now on the side, you want to leave three space of blocks. Then place the lock. At the front, you want to peel her up. Nine blocks from the ground for the middle too. And six from the ground for the sides. This will be the front. Also six for the side of the build. Six, okay. Duplicate the front to the back. Now you want to count five blocks from the ground. Then place the lock horizontally. Place them around the build, like so. We got the basic frame. Now we need a frame for our roof. I'm gonna use a couple stone. Build an arch like this. Double set of two couple stone, then one couple stone. And two more couple stone. Duplicate on the other side. And the same for the back. I'm gonna leave the top for now. Alright, now let's fill in some walls. I'm gonna use stripped oak log for the ground floor. I'll leave a space for the entrance. Fill in the side as well. I think I'm gonna close the back. Once we finish those, we're gonna work on cover the roof. I'm gonna use the spruce stairs and planks. Place them along the frame. Gradually cover them up to the top. And for the top, I'm gonna change it to slabs. Now we can fill the rest of the wall with bricks. I'll leave a space here for a window. Better place a couple stone stairs to the corner. Gotta add more curve to those overhang. Trim the top as well.
Once we're done, our exterior shell will be complete. Now let's add some details. I added a small porch to the front, using campfire to make a roof. And an old trapdoor for a big window. A bit of stone button for fine details. Nice. We use a spruce fence for a small windows. And a place a shutter for each one. Also a stairs to make more depth. Now the exterior is roughly detailed. Let's change our attention to the interior. First I'm gonna temporarily light the place using torch. Use an old lock for a truss. I'm gonna leave a space here. Now use an old planks for the floor upstairs. I'll make it a U-shaped floor plan. Let's put a shutter on the inside as well. You can decorate the inside however you like. But how I decorate it is that I make it like a small enclosure where the animals can go outdoor to the open area. And to make it look more worn down, I replace the ground with gravel, coarse dirt and dirt pad. Of course, hay bale and barrels in the corner. A bit of shade here and there replacing torch with lanterns. On upstairs, I make it like a storage area, but basically you put stuff on here and forget about it. If you were to find an abandoned mineshaft in survival, you can decorate the upstairs with a bit of cobwebs if you like. Now the barn itself is complete. You can decorate around the barn. Maybe with an outdoor animal enclosure or a weed farm. You can also use leaf mixed with fence. But make sure you put some slabs on top, so that the animal wouldn't escape. Make the ground worn down and add some bone meal. You can place down some hay bales and barrels, but be careful not to place them next to the fence. And for a final touch, add some foliage to the roof. And we're done! Thank you for watching my very first tutorial video. If you enjoyed, be sure to support my channel by like and subscribe. I would gladly appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.